so today I'm here to show you this look. I'm using the Coastal Scents 88 Metal Mania palette again. Obviously you can tell it's one of my favorites for right now. Um, the color range is just so... there's so much to do with it and I really like that. So today I came up with this look. Here's a picture. The look I was going for was like a smoky olive green. I think I achieved that pretty well. I like it because even though it's daytime, it's not like super dark. There's not black, so that's nice. Um, just dark brown. So if you guys like to see how I did this look, just keep watching. Start out by priming your eye. I use Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I'm going to go into the fifth row, the fourth color down. It is a dark olive green, I would say. It's just this one right here. I have taken that color, packed it on to a 239 brush. This is going to go on the outer half of your eye. This one is a loose shadow, so you want to pat or you're going to get a lot of fallout. I've already got fallout down here, but it's okay. Everything can wipe away. So just take that, pat it onto your lid. You can bring it up into your crease just a little bit. Right, next you're going to go into the second row, the second color down. It is this light gold. Take that onto the opposite side of your 239 brush. This is going to go on the inner corner and inner half of your other side of your eyelid. And then just slightly bring it up but not to your brow bone. Just like that. Our crease color is in row five, number five down. It's like a dark silver brown green. Just looks like that. Take that onto a pencil 219 brush and focus this on your crease but not the outer corner, just do your crease. I do this color pretty heavily because once you start blending the color of this one, it really disappears. So I like to get a really dark line. Right, next with a new pencil brush, we're going to go into the fifth row, the seventh color. It is this really dark bronzy brown. Take that on your brush. This one is once again really powdery or like it has a ton of fallout. Tap it off. This is going to go on to the outer corner of your eye. and also drag it under your lower lash line. Take a blending brush and we're going to blend out these colors. What boy this first? Start on that dark brown and just do circular motions. You really want to keep that color there. Once that's blended, go ahead and flick it into your crease and blend all those colors together. But do you see how much it's already like disappeared? And I'm barely touching my brush to my eyelid. I'm going to place a little more green on my lid just to deepen it up and make sure they match. Blend it in. This is the point where you're going to want to lighten colors, deepen colors. Okay, that looks good for right now. Next I'm taking my highlight color. This is my favorite highlight color. It's by Revlon. It's number two, White Whisper. It's a very pretty cream. Go ahead and take that, blend it onto your brow bone, pull it down on both sides. 
that. Take a blending brush, which you're wiping off, and blend those colors. Okay, so that's it for eyes. I'm going to add some black liner, which is just my favorite Stila Smudge Pot. Um, after I do that, curl my lashes and add lashes are going to be the Lash Blast Fusion. It's the new one. I already have it on this eye, obviously, and so far, I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be right back. For cheeks, I'm doing a just a peachy color. It looks like this. This is by Physician's Formula. It is called Natural Glow. So I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. All right, today I'm feeling a little daring to do a soft red lip and it is in 709 deep red by nyx nyx whatever you want to call it i'm going to take that i'm just going to dot on a little bit and then use this brush that i use for lips So I just gave our lips like a slight tint. I'm going to add a clear gloss on top of that. Final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will list everything down below, so go ahead and check that out. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.